All right, Darren Beeman representing uh, the stable here today. Pericles has done an excellent job this preparation, culminating in a big one. Certainly, uh, this time last year he ran second in the in the um, in the Golden Eagle, and um, been a great campaigner, you know, for the stable over the years. And um, you know, he's supremely well bred. The, the mare that he's out of accessories, she, you know, she's produced a few good ones in a time, and, and been by Street Boss, you know, Animo, Animo Sire. Um, great team effort all round. He started off in Melbourne, but the decision was made to bring him home. Yes, yeah. He um, obviously, you know, he, there was pr pretty tough opposition down there, yeah. and um, but to, to come up here and you know run over this trip, 1800 is about as far as he wants, and um, 1800 around Rose Hill is a lot easier than say 1800 at Randwick. So it was, it was ideal, and it was a master move by James to take the blinkers off him today, and he was able just to roll across into a lovely spot and. Kieran, you know, got great hands and the horse settled nice, had a trouble-free run and I was sitting there next to Rachie King um, just outside the jockey's room and I'm sitting there and he's hit the front. <laughs> I just gave an almighty yelp with about 50 metres to go. I didn't want to go to the early crow. <laughs> no, no it's, it's disastrous when that happens. <laughs> yeah, you end up with egg on your face. What about, uh, what about the gong? Would he, could he come back to a mile and, and back up in a fortnight? Uh, I, th I think he's possible. He's seasoned enough too and um, you know, he hit, hit the line today with plenty of gusto, so it uh, looks certainly a race on the, on, the, on, the, on the calendar for him. Never, you didn't do it as a jockey, so don't do it as a, as a watcher. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well done, Darren. Congratulations, K-Mac. Looked a bit sticky early, but once you got into one off, he looked the winner a long way. Yeah, it was lucky, Brown. We, you know, James and the team give me a bit of a free rein. They said, look, just step well and see if you can lob forward into a, a prominent spot. That could be third, fourth, could be fifth, sixth, you know, and... We just stepped really well, and I was I was lucky to have Tyler on um, that horse on the inside, just in, drew inside me, taking me across. And as you know, that that is ever so helpful when that happens. And um, then we're able to just to get there, rest for a bit, and get got a bit of cover when Jason come around, and the horse did the rest. So it was a good effort. Yeah. Do you think the key was taking the blinkers off? I think it was. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't ridden the horse for a long time. I'd only ridden him in a trial, I think, early in his career. But obviously, he'd been running to a really high level, and James had pointed that out as 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 he said in the press. You know. Buckaroo, Seawolf form, it's proper form and you know, this race was, was just back a little bit in grade which was which was to, to uh, help you know uh, uh, to the horses liking today and, and we, we were aided by that as well. Yeah. Hey, Thanks mate.